On March 25th, in the not-so-distant future, Canada's first parliamentary budget officer, Kevin Page, will retire after five years on the job. And hats off to Stephen Harper for creating that position in the first place. But now that Page is leaving, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna miss the little guy. Not only because I believe he served his country well, but because by doing so, he drove so many cabinet ministers completely mad. I like that in a guy. In fact, if I had to write an eHarmony profile, that would be right up there with enjoys long walks on the beach and has a sense of humor. But he did his job. His job is to provide an independent analysis of this country's finances, which is important because if history has taught us anything, it's that governments, all governments, they tend to, what's the word I'm looking for here? They lie about this stuff. It was Page who first said, oh, hey, Canada, you know those fighter jets that the government wants to buy and they say they're going to cost $16 billion? They're going to cost $30 billion plus. In response, the government launched an all-out character assassination on the guy. And it turns out Page was the one telling the truth. There's been no apology. On old age security, on deficit projections, on, on spending cuts, he's always done his job. And he's been called every name in the book, often by people who've never even read one. And now, his job is vacant, and the word is in Ottawa that there's not a single person in this country qualified for the job who's willing to do it. And it pays 160 grand a year. Nobody wants the job, why? Look at the job description. Serve your country, tell the truth, get attacked by the government for doing so. Jim Flaherty once said famously, there's no such thing as a bad job in Canada. Well, if you trust the markets, looks like telling the truth in Ottawa qualifies.